there's three Xbox Series X consoles to choose from. The new digital robot white for $450, add another $50 and you get the standard Xbox Series X with a disk drive. Throw in another $100 and you get the range topping Galaxy Black Special Edition with 2TB storage. I guess the $100 is a fair price for the extra 1TB. It's still cheaper than buying that Seagate expansion card. Is this Microsoft answer to PS5 Pro because it is the highest spec Xbox you can buy? Or you can spend another $100 and just get the PS5 Pro which also has a 2TB SSD. This console does come in a new box that's a bit smaller than the old packaging. Same sort of messaging on it, power your dreams. They're still advertising that 4K 120fps and even 8K even though there's really no games that can run those ultra high specs. This green seal is new. The old Older box of course had a bunch of these clear seals. Let's break the seal and see what's inside. There's a tab to open the box and with this part sliding out the whole box sort of falls apart. We got a box accessories on top and the Series X console on the bottom. I gotta say I like the way the old box kind of swung open and presented that console. All the accessories are in this box. There's an ultra high speed 2.1 HDMI cable. There's also a power cable, there's a quick start guide and a regulatory guide. And here's the Xbox wireless controller to match that special edition Galaxy Black console. This looks really clean with that green on the back of it. It's a nice color combination. The controller is not rechargeable so you do get two AA batteries in this tiny box. Now for the Series X console. Pull this out and here it is. It has this sort of cloth sleeve around it which you should be able to reuse. It's kind of durable. And here it is the 2TB Special Edition Galaxy Black Xbox Series X. The design sort of okay. I think the best thing about it is that base finished in green. It's nothing too fancy though. The real reason to get this is essentially the 2TB storage. With that extra space let's see if it weighs any different. And surprisingly it's actually almost 300 grams lighter than the standard 1TB console. But still not as light as that new white digital only Xbox Series X. Now I set this up with my monitor as usual. The amount of usable space is of course not 2 terabytes, it's 1.7 terabyte versus the 800 gigabytes you get with the standard console. But what does it all mean in terms of how many games are going to fit on it? On the standard console, I filled up that 1 terabyte with 15 games. Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero, Elden Ring, Forza Horizon 5, Starship Troopers Extermination, Warhammer Space Marine 2, Diablo 4, FC 25, Fortnite, Halo Infinite, Hogwarts Legacy, Kena Bridge of Spirits, Minecraft, Prince of Persia The Lost Crown, Hellblade 2, and South Park Snow Day. And on the 2TB console I was able to install the same 15 games plus another 12. Alan Wake 2, Cyberpunk 2077, DayZ, Dead Space, Grand Theft Auto Online, Mortal Kombat 1, Overwatch 2, Sea of Thieves, Shin Megami 5 Vengeance, Sifu, Star Wars Outlaws, and UFC 5. That should give you a good idea for what you're paying the extra $100 for. I also tested the power consumption of all three Xbox Series X consoles. I did this using three games and on average the new 2TB Special Edition is about 15% more energy efficient. It's a bit shocking to me that this 2TB Special Edition is the most energy efficient console out of the three. It seems to be even better than that all digital white Xbox Series X. And here's what that means for the average gamer that games maybe say 20 hours a week. With the average electricity costs in the US you're gonna save about $6 per year on your bill. If you live in Germany where electricity is a lot more expensive you're gonna save about 11 euros per year. I know that's not much but savings are savings and the more hours you game a week the more you're actually gonna save on your electricity bill. And that's everything you need to know about the 2TB special edition Galaxy Black Xbox Series X. They all tell you it's 2TB but now you know it's actually lighter and more energy efficient. For the rest of the video check out a bit more gameplay on that special edition console. Thank you. 
want to be.